Fine. Today we are going to discuss about the corn of NAM. Here, basically, the, minim the minimization of the Boolean expression. Here, there are two methods are there for minimizing the Boolean expression. The minimization may be called as the reduction of the Boolean expression. Here, the first method is by using the Boolean algebra. That is the loss of Boolean algebra. That is the one method for simplifying the Boolean expression. The another one method is the, by using the Carnot map or it may be otherwise called as the K map method. The third method for simplifying the Boolean expression is by using the tabulation method. Okay. First, we will discuss about the Carnot map. Here, the K map, Carnot map is otherwise called as the K map and then is a graphical representation that provides a systematic method for simplifying the Boolean expression. The, where the K-map is a visual way to simplify the logical expression, and then it gives the most simplified form of expression. Next, we will dis discuss about the, next we will discuss about the rules to obtain the most simplified expression. Okay, the simplification of the logical expression by using the Boolean algebra is awkward because it lacks specific rules to predict the most suitable next step in the simplification process. And then it is difficult to determine whether the simplified form has achieved or not. These are the two drawbacks when we are using the uh, Boolean algebra. Next, a K map is a graphical method used to obtain the most simplified form of an expression in a standard form. That is, either we can obtain the sum of product or we can obtain the product of sum. Here, this is the K map is the simplest form of an expression is the one that has the minimum number of terms. With the, with the least number of variables in each term. Next, by simplifying an expression to one that uses the minimum number of terms, we ensure that the function will be implemented with the minimum number of gates. Okay, here, while during the simplification, if you are getting the in a Boolean expression, simplified expression, if you are getting the minimum number of terms and variables means then obviously the number of gates which will be using for implementing the common uh, logic circuit that will be reduced okay by simplifying an expression to one that uses the least number of literals that is variables for each term we ensure that the function will be implemented with gate that have been minimum number of inputs. Here there are different types of K maps are there. Okay. Uh, that is the K map simplification is of two variable K map, three variable K map, four variable K map, then five variable K map and six variable K map are there. Here in our presentation today we will be discussing up to two variable K map. Here in this two variable K map, is drawn for the Boolean expression where it consists of only two variables. The two variable K map is drawn only for the expression which consists of the only two variables. Here, the number of present uh, cells present in the two variable K map are two power two. Why two power two means two power two? That uh, these two represent the number of variables. So will have the four cells. So uh, for a Boolean function consists of two variables, we have two by two K map. This is the way how we can represent the two variables K map. Here it will be represented with uh, one variable difference. That is in K map simplification method, the adjacent cells that will be 
with the one variable difference. So here where either there are two ways of to represent the uh, variables. Either we can represent the, the with the symbols or with the values. Okay, here A bar, B bar, A, B. Where the A bar represents zero, A represents one. Here B bar represents zero, B represents one. These are two way of representation of the variables. Okay. Next one is the three variable K map. Okay, in this three variable K map can be drawn for the for the expression where it consists boolean function <coughs> or boolean expression which consists of three variables. So two power three. Then it will have the total. It will have the a cells and then where we can use the uh, represent with the three variables a b c okay a bar a b bar c bar a bar b bar c a bar b c a bar b c bar a b bar c bar a b bar c a b c a b b c bar here if you see here in column by if you see here it is with only one variable difference it is zero here it is one see here in the horizontal b c representation okay zero 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 one if you see here means only one variable represent next Will be 0, 1, 1, 1. Here also only one variable difference between the adjacent cells. Again, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Here also one variable difference. Okay, next we will see about the four variable K map. Here in this four variable K map, where we will have the four variable will be there in the Boolean expression. So, 2 power 4, it will have the 16 cells. So, we can draw the K map of 16 cells. This is a representation of 4 variable K map. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Similarly here, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Next, to minimize the Boolean function, we have to draw the K map according to the number of variables it consists of either it may be the two variable K map, three variable K map, four variable K map, or five variable or six variable K map. Next, we have to fill the K map zeros and ones according to the its function. Based on the function, we have to fill the zeros and ones in the we have to fill the zeros and ones in the uh, corresponding cells. Then we have to minimize the function according to the following rules. Okay, here first rule is we can either the group zero, either we can group zeros with zeros or ones with ones, but we should not group zeros and ones together. Similarly, the x represents the don't care condition. Either the don't care condition, it can be grouped with zeros or it can be grouped with ones. Separately, the don't care condition it should not be grouped. That is the rule one. Next, rule two is groups may be overlap with each other. The rule groups that can be overlap with each other. Next, rule three is we can only create a group whose number of cells can be represented power of 2. It can be, I always say, in other words, means a group of cells containing only 2 power n, the tone can be grouped. That is, either the cell may be of 1, 2, 4, 16, and so on. Next one, for example, here, if you see, this is incorrect. Why means? Here, the grouping, that maximum grouping that we have to check. For example, if you take the three variable K map means, first we have to check any possibility is there to form group of eight cells. No. If not, second grouping we have to check any 
grouping that we can able to do for group of four cells. Then we have to check whether we can able to group two cells. Next one we have to go for the identical cell or single cell. We here, if you see here, here this type of grouping is wrong. Why means the grouping that has to be done to power n. Here, uh, see, this is wrong. Here, maximum possibility here is group of eight cells is not possible. So we can be able to group four cells. Again, the these cells will be left over. Again, we have to group these two cells. Then is the correct way. Next one is the uh, rule four is grouping can only either do in the horizontal or it can be do either it can be do horizontal or it can be do vertical and the diagonal group is not do the diagonal grouping okay diagonal group is not allowed in the k map simplification method here same thing each group should have as long as large as possible the grouping of cells the grouping of cells that should be a as large as possible here if you see here means here it can group it as a pass but in this grouping the maximum possibility is group of four cell combination that will be possible over here we have to check it for the maximum possible combination okay next one is the opposite grouping or corner grouping are allowed here opposite grouping or corner grouping are allowed here the opposite grouping that we had discussed in the uh, rule 5 okay this is the opposite grouping that is grouping the corner that is just like if you fold this uh, sheet now it will be grouped this corner this opposite that can be grouped okay next the example for the corner grouping that has been shown in the uh, rule 5 okay corners also we can be able to group next there should be the grouping is of maximum possible maximum number of grouping that has to be done okay this is the concept of the k map method okay thank you